Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting polynomial equation. Why is this equation interesting? Because it is polynomial or maybe it's cubic. Who knows? We'll see in a little bit. But first, I want to show you the first method. I'm not going to completely work it out, but I just want to talk about it briefly. So forgive me for that because you, you'll know when I talk about it. My, now, if I expand everything, I get x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus x cubed is equal to 17. If I put everything on the same side, like the right hand side, I get x cubed minus x squared plus 2x plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, this is a cubic equation and there are no easy straightforward solutions. Maybe there is. You can try to guess a solution if any uh, if there is a rational solution, you can use the rational root theorem and go off of that. Once you find a rational solution, then you can divide by the linear factor and you get a quadratic and so on and so forth. Okay, you can proceed that way or maybe this is first method A and then first method B, you can use Cardano. Okay, great. Well, there's a cubic formula, which is quite complicated. If you would like to pursue that, be my guest. Here is the second method. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to work it out, but definitely you can try the rational root theorem because I think it's going to give you a good solution here. Anyways, my second method, my second method is going to be the following. And don't get mad because I know some people are going to be questioning like, you know, how on earth would someone know to do this, right? Well, you kind of get to see these things, right? If you do a lot. Anyways, so I have 17 and I have a square and a cube on the left hand side. So I want to take advantage of that pattern. And again, this is trial and error. I mean, this is hit or miss, right? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. How do I know it works? Because I worked it out. Great. Okay, so I'm going to write the 17 as 9 plus 8. Why? Because 9 is a perfect square, 8 is a perfect cube, and everything is perfect. Great. So let's go ahead and put the 9 next to x minus 1 squared and bring the x cubed over here so that the two cubes can be added together. What does this look like? Well, this looks like, hopefully it looks like to you that way too, a difference of two squares and sum of two cubes. Awesome. Now we can factor it. So we can write this one as x minus 1 quantity squared minus 3 squared, and we can write this as x cubed plus 2 cubed. You know we have formulas for these, so let's go ahead and do it. x minus 1 plus 3, I like the plus 1 first, and then x minus 1 minus 3, a squared minus b squared, that's difference of two squares, one of the most important identities in algebra or mathematics in general, I think, x squared minus 2x plus 4. This is the sum of two cubes. Again, there's a formula for a cubed plus b cubed. Great. What makes it greater is the fact that we're getting x plus 2 from here. This is why we did this. Our goal was to make it factorable. And we took advantage of, you know, the fact that uh, 17 can be written as a sum of perfect square and a perfect cube. Perfect. Let's put everything on the same side and I would like to use, uh, put them on the right hand side. So I can kind of factor out x plus 2. And the other factor is going to be coming from the difference of this one and the other one. So I'm going to subtract x minus 4 from this quadratic and that's going to give me minus x plus 4. Obviously that's going to be negated. And of course, that's equal to zero. I'm getting x plus two and then x squared minus three x plus eight is equal to zero. Great. So now this equation is easily solvable because it is factored. In the factored form, we can basically do the following. Set each factor equal to zero. Easy, you know, easy. Okay, x equals negative two. One of the roots comes from the linear one. The other one is quadratic, but no worries. There is a formula called the quadratic formula and look like, looks like this. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Can I just do it here? The discriminant is going to be negative 23. Okay, too bad. We're getting complex solutions. Awesome. I know some people are going to be very happy. Yeah, we're getting complex solutions. Okay, great. So we got a real solution and we're getting two complex solutions. Let's go ahead and write them. Uh, as complex numbers. Uh, square root of negative 23 is going to be, you know, plus minus square root of 23 times i. So we're going to include our imaginary unit. And 
These are going to be the complex solutions. And those are basically all the solutions to our cubic. So if you go back to the first method, of course, not the Cardano, but if you want to use Cardano, like I said, be my guest. But if you look at this cubic, you might end up uh, finding a factor of 16 that works because this is monic. So you don't have to worry about the coefficient of x cubed, which is nice, which makes, you know, applying the rational root theorem a little easier. 16 still has a lot of factors, but eh, not too bad. You know, it has about 10, right? 2 to the fourth power, uh, 4 plus 1, 5 times 2. Okay. Anyways, these are all the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Keep up the good work. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.